So you've just started your first Google Ads campaigns and you're already frustrated because you're not getting any conversions at all, or you may have got a couple of conversions in the first week, you got all excited and then you've had absolutely zero conversions in the last two weeks. And quite rightly, you're asking the question, what is going on? So that you can stop stressing out in this video, I'm gonna take you through exactly what is happening so that you can better understand what you need to be focusing on when it comes to a brand new Google Ads campaign. But to set this up correctly, you need to understand one of the biggest juxtapositions of Google Ads. And that is that, yes, while Google Ads is very, very immediate, and what I mean by that is that if you were to set up a new Google Ads campaign today to launch your new business or your new product, once you press go on that Google Ads campaign, within a couple of hours, they'll check your ads and then you'll start seeing your ads. And then at any time, you can pop into your Google Ads dashboard, change the keywords, change the ad copy, update the landing page, and you see those changes in Google Ads very, very quickly. So Google Ads is a very immediate marketing channel. In that, as I said, it sets up very quickly and you can make changes at any given time and see those changes pretty much straight away. However, the most successful Google Ads campaigns are generally a slow build up of seeing those core conversion metrics of your cost per conversion and your return on ad spend actually increasing in gradual amounts every single month. Yes, you might have some months where you see a really big jump, but Google Ads is one of those marketing channels which works best where you're reviewing data and then making optimizations off that data so that you can see gradual improvements in your performance. And this is a big misunderstanding of Google Ads is that because Google Ads is immediate, people think that they can just set up a two or three week Google Ads campaign and they should be getting results straight away. Whereas very, very rarely would I ever set up a very, very short Google Ads campaign. In fact, I don't actually recommend it. With the only exception being if you've got an existing Google Ads account and you may be coming into a promotional or a sales period and you just wanna run some short Google Google Display or Google Video campaigns in order to boost some traffic to your site. For me, that's really the only time that I'm running a campaign which is any less than a month. And this happens in a really, really common occurrence where someone will reach out and they say they're having problems with their Google Ads campaign, it's not getting any conversions. And my first question that I ask them is, how long have they been running Google Ads for? And quite often the answer is two weeks, three weeks, sometimes even four weeks. And this is where I have to let someone know that they just actually need to really settle down because they haven't yet given Google Ads nearly enough time to see whether it is gonna be profitable for their business. Remember what I said before, Google Ads is a constant cycle of seeing data, reviewing that data, and then making some optimizations from that data. So for best results with Google Ads, it's a collection of Google running its own testing and then you as the Google Ads manager reviewing that data and making some manual optimizations. And that's where you see the best results with Google Ads. So to help you further, what I wanna do right now is I wanna do two things. Firstly, I wanna give you access to a free tool which is gonna help you immensely with optimizing your Google Ads campaigns. And this is something which I still use today and I've been managing Google Ads campaigns since 2010. And this is a Google Ads optimization checklist and what this does is this not only lists all of the different optimization actions that you need to complete in Google Ads, it takes it a step further and lets you know how often you need to complete each of those actions. The reality is in Google Ads, there's some actions which you need to complete two to three times a week. There's other actions which you are only completing once every two or three months. And you need to make sure you're getting that right. So if you wanna know exactly how to optimize your Google Ads account, just make sure you follow that link in the description below so you can get access to my Google Ads optimization checklist and now the second way that I wanna help you is that we're gonna jump into a screen share because I've actually prepared a little presentation to explain this better on how the data collection and optimization cycle works within Google Ads. And we're gonna be focusing on especially the first 90 days of a Google Ads campaign. But even though we're focusing on the first 90 days, it's important to note that this cycle, which I'm gonna be taking you through, is true for any Google Ads campaign, regardless of its age. So right now, let's jump into that screen share. So what I'm gonna be taking you through is the first 90 days of your Google Ads campaign. Now remember, as I said, what I'm gonna be taking you through does not only apply to the first 90 days, because this is a continual cycle that's gonna be happening regardless of the age of your campaign. And what I wanna really reinforce is that now now more than ever, success with Google Ads is built on data. So let me just take you through this process. So what you need to remember, especially for a new Google Ads campaign, that the 
the first 14 days is actually a learning phase. And that's sometimes why you get the situation where you will start your Google Ads campaign and then you might see a couple of conversions coming in the first week. But what's happening here is a lot of things, is that Google is testing your ad metrics versus all of the other competitors. So you actually get like a little free boost and then what Google will then do is that if the underlying performance and metrics of your campaign, especially your click-through ratio and your conversion metrics, if they are not as good as other competitors that you're appearing in the same auctions for, very, very quickly, you will start to see the visibility of your ads reduce, which is why sometimes when you look at your Google Ads dashboard, you start a new campaign, you'll see a really big boost of impressions, and then that'll slowly dip down. And what's happening there is Google is just running a whole collection of different testing. And then from there, you're looking for some initial data for your keywords, your ads, and your audiences, and we're not gonna get any real data for that first 30 days. So what's really, really important to note is that in the first 30 days of setting up a Google Ads campaign, there's only really one core optimization action which you complete, which is reviewing your keywords. And what you do through there is you review your search terms and you're looking to add in any extra negative keywords. We can't do anything around our ads yet because we haven't got the results from our first ad copy split tests. And the same with audiences, we're just collecting the different data from audiences. So really in the first 30 days, when I approach a Google Ads account, what I'm just looking for is that at the end of the 30 days, if I can start to see some conversions, I'm happy because that's at least given me the first round of data from the keywords, the ads, and the different audiences. And then what we do from there is that we review the data, we add in the optimizations, and then we go into a second round of testing. And what that looks like is that we are, as I said, we've already been going through and reviewing our keywords and adding in extra negative keywords. But after the 30 days is the earliest at which we can start our second round of testing around different ad copies. We will have some initial audiences that we can potentially add in some different bid adjustments, but even that might be too early. At the end of the 30 days, that just might be the first point where we can go through and do some split testing around our ad copies. So at the end of the 60 days, what we would be looking for there is that I'm happy if we are breaking even. Obviously, we wanna be making a profit, but it is a reality that sometimes we are only breaking even after 60 days and we are not making real profits until after three months. Because if we were to be making some profit, it means that we've got some early success with our first round of split testing. But as I said, it might take two or three rounds of split testing of the ad copy and landing pages before we start to see some success. So you can kind of see here the process of we're really looking at core amounts of data in 30 day chunks, especially around our ad copies. And it's only around this point at 90 days, which would be the absolute earliest before we'd be looking at adding in some more higher level optimizations, like switching over to a maximized conversions bidding strategy. So as you can see, especially in this first 90 days, it's very much around about collecting some initial data and running some initial testing. And then from there, we're at our 90 day review and we just continue this cycle. So once we've got a campaign past that first three months, obviously we're not going back into a learning phase, but you can see here, we've got these just constant blocks of going through and reviewing our ad copies and some other areas every 30 days in our account. So if you're currently not seeing any conversions in your Google Ads campaigns, I don't want you to stress out, especially if your campaigns have only been running for a couple of weeks or even for a couple of months, because as I showed you in that presentation, success with Google Ads is found when you go through different cycles of collecting data, reviewing that data, and then making in those correct optimization decisions. And remember, if you want assistance with scheduling out what optimization actions you need to complete in Google Ads at the right time, make sure you follow that link in the description below to get access to my Google Ads optimization checklist. And finally, once again, it's been an absolute pleasure having you here. Thank you for joining me. My name is Aaron Young from Define Digital Academy, and I'm your 15,000 hour Google Ads master. And if you are new to Google Ads and you wanna know the top three optimization actions that you need to be focusing on for success with Google Ads, I want you to go through and watch this video right here. Once again, thanks for joining me, and I look forward to seeing you in this video right now. See ya.